Introducing food allergens to your baby. How are you preparing for food allergies? It's a topic that's top of mind for a lot of proactive parents who want to give their children the best start in life. The latest science is helping take a proactive approach to helping avoid peanut and egg allergies for our children. Some children may develop allergies anytime between birth and early school age. That's why it's always important to check with your doctor to make sure you know as much as you can about your child's individual health. Common food allergies in children include cow's milk protein, eggs, soy, peanuts, tree nuts, fish, shellfish, and sesame. Studies have shown children who are exposed to peanut or egg products around four to six months of age are less likely to develop peanut or egg allergies compared to children who had not had any exposure. Before you introduce, always be sure to check with your doctor before introducing new foods to your baby. Give your little ones their first taste when they're healthy, not when they have a fever, diarrhea, or other illness. It helps to do the first taste at home as opposed to at daycare or at a restaurant. It's nice for your baby to be in a comfortable and familiar environment, and you'll want to set aside at least two hours after the first taste to watch your baby for a reaction. Introducing food allergens like eggs and peanuts happens around the time you start introducing solid foods, around four to six months old. But check with your doctor to see if your baby is showing indicators of readiness to begin complimentary food. You'll want to start with one food item at a time in small amounts mixed in with usual meals. Be sure to remove any potential choking hazards from food that you give your little one. Introducing foods in small amounts should help to minimize any potential reactions. But you'll want to let your doctor know if you see rash or hives, itching, trouble breathing, vomiting, swelling, especially in the lips, tongue, cheeks, or eyes. As always, don't hesitate to seek medical attention if your child needs it. If your baby seems to be having an allergic reaction to food, stop giving them the food and seek immediate care or call 911. Always be sure to monitor your children while introducing potential food allergens and follow your pediatrician's guidance throughout your journey. Thanks for watching. For more helpful tips and guides, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. You can also take a deeper dive with us at Infamil.com and with our Infamil Family Beginnings program. Links in description.